Hey guys, Sashant from TechMate here, back with another video. And in February, OnePlus CEO Carl P announced that the company was going to launch its next iteration of its flagship model, that is the OnePlus 3. At the end of Q2, June has just started and we're all buzzing about the OnePlus 3. In fact, they dropped a mail last night which confirmed that it, will, it is going to be launched on the 14th of June 2016, that's around 10 days from now. There's been a lot of speculations, rumors, leaks and you know, official confirmations doing rounds on internet and social media of course. So I thought why don't I put them all together into one video. So here's all we know about the OnePlus 3. Well, design. There's been a lot of speculation going around how the design of the new OnePlus 3 would be. Would it be following the same you know, pattern of its predecessor or is it going to introduce something new for this one? The initial renders though showed that uh, the OnePlus 3 was going to ditch its sandstone black back or the sandstone design which had been a trademark of all its predecessors. That was the OnePlus 1, the original OnePlus 1 and then the OnePlus 2. Well, it seems to be going with something more studier. What's more studier than this? Well, it's metal this time. Uh, the OnePlus 3 is going to have a metal design which looks something more like the HTC. It's gone the HTC way and picked up metal for its design that, uh, which is going to give us a premium feel. Take a look at the renders and I won't blame you for thinking it's one of those HTC M series phones because it looks that way with its unibody design and shaped around the edges, chamfered edges. So well, that really looks good on a phone like this. If there's one more thing that is doing more speculations than uh, you know the design of the OnePlus 3, it has to be the amount of RAM. <laughs> well, it is speculated as well as confirmed by certain sources that the OnePlus 3 will be sporting 6 gigs of RAM. I repeat, 6 GB RAM on the OnePlus 3. Uh, we can do the fight of if 6 needed is, is 6 gigs of RAM is needed on a smartphone some other day. But well, even speculations are adrift that there will be three, there will be two variants. One which will be having 3 gigs of RAM and the other with 6 gigs of RAM. Well, whatever our opinion on this is, which I feel that 6 gigs of RAM is an unnecessary luxury on a smartphone. Not that my opinion matters anyway. We have to accept the fact that there is every chance that the OnePlus 3 will be sporting 6 gigs of RAM. And coming to the processor, this was quite easy. Uh, snap, uh, OnePlus has always gone with what the best of Qualcomm has got to offer. And this time it is the Snapdragon 820 SoC on board the OnePlus 3. Well, this is not something that has been confirmed, but it's not hard to guess either. No fuss on this one, please. Then the operating system. This one had its own share of rumors and leaked images. Well, uh, when, they, when screenshots of uh, the OnePlus 3 running on preview versions of Android yet to be released Android N with a skin on it, people got, uh, it, got, it got people thinking that uh, the OnePlus 3 would ship with Android N on board. But let's be logical on this one. Number one, that Android N has not been released yet. Number two, no one in their right sense of mind would ship a smartphone, a brand new smartphone with a preview version of Android on it. So it's pretty much clear that uh, it will be shipping with Oxygen 3.0 based on Android Marshmallow. Oxygen has been their standard uh, ROM after what happened with Cyanogen Mod. So that's pretty clear now. It's going to ship with Oxygen 3.0 on board which runs on Android Marshmallow and obviously is going to, needless to say, it's going to get the update to the next version of Android that's Android N as soon as possible. Coming to the camera, it hasn't been OnePlus strongest game, but this time around it looks like it's going to dump a 16 megapixel camera for the rare, uh, which is going to be decent by OnePlus standards and uh, also this camera is going to create a bump, that is the phone is going to have a camera bump on the back, not necessarily a big negative, but you guys need to know that there's going to be a camera bump on the back. Also uh, this is going to sport an 8 megapixel front camera. So, selfie people, you've got it. I've got some news for you guys. At 
last, the 16 GB internal storage model is going to die. No, I'm actually not feeling bad for that one. Well, now there are going to be only two variants, that is the 32 gigs and the 64 gigs on board storage. Also, the SIM card tray that was a part of the OnePlus X is going to make a comeback and is going to be in this very flagship. So it looks like OnePlus has actually heard about what their users have been saying and they've sorted out one of, one of their major problems, that was storage. 16 gigs of storage really doesn't work out anymore and 32 is a minimum and plus they've added this micro SD card slot. So it's safe to say that they've cleaned up their storage area. Kudos to OnePlus on that. Uh, pricing. Well, if the story about the two variants is something to be believed, then one variant, that is the 3 gig variant, 3 gigs of RAM variant is going to be retailing at $300 and the other one with the 6 gigs of RAM is going to be retailing at $360. Well, this is one place where you can't play guesses, so better wait and watch. Alright, now you know the specifications of the phone, you know how it looks, you know what it's made of, you know what operating system it's running on, and you also got the money ready to buy a OnePlus 3. But then, some dude comes up and you do tell the dude, see I'm buying a OnePlus 3, and then the dude says, um, no, you cannot buy a OnePlus 3 because you do not have an invitation. How are you going to react to that now? Hi. Don't, don't, don't go away, don't go away. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> OnePlus has crapped the invitation system for once and forever. Well, in the mail that they dropped last night, uh, which I'm going to read out right from here, it says, bye-bye invites, hello OnePlus 3. We're releasing the OnePlus 3 invite free right from launch day. In addition, invites are gone forever from future OnePlus product launches. That's awesome, right? I know. Looks like OnePlus has grown as a company and this is a huge step for them and this is a huge huge advantage for the consumer because you do not have to run around social media sites and you know different forums, technology forums requesting people to send you invitations or even you know buying invitations on eBay. All those days are gone. You can go right up there to the Amazon page and buy that product. Also, as you may already have guessed, uh, the OnePlus 3 is going to be Amazon exclusive, at least in India. Uh, they've given a very specific time for the launch in India, that is the 14th of June, 10 p.m. IST. So they'll be waiting and the world will be watching how their new phone is going to be. They started out as a very small company, made a phone which, which got huge into the market and now they're building upon that one phone. So it'll be very interesting to see how this one goes. So probably that's it for this video and uh, there's a link in the description uh, to my blog where I'll be updating all the specs in the next 10 coming days we'll probably have more leaks and more rumors. I may not be able to make a video about every single one of them but that single page will be updated all the time so you can follow that if you want one more feed up kind of thing. And also, uh, you must have already seen that I got a new intro in while coming in. There was a new intro and a new logo. And there's also going to be a new outro, which is going to be cool. So please do check it out. Yeah, you're going to do that anyway. So yeah, and there have been quite a lot of developments. And I'm trying to do more and more of stuff on this channel. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to write more articles on the blog whenever I can. I'm trying, so I'm trying to put this one up. And uh, yeah, also we crossed 900 subscribers. Uh, late last month so that's a huge bonus I'm, I'm waiting for, for the channel to reach thousand subscribers so thank you guys out there thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one Stay awesome.